The dirty, dirty, dirty man. I'm on my fucking second strike, my niggas. I'm about some fucking. I last fucking a month in this fucking YouTube shit, man. They keep saying I'm crazy with it, that I uh, sensationalize violence. I don't know, man. Let's see. I'm fucking going with it, though, bro. We're going with the culture today, man. Follow the empire. So, let me share this little story with you. When I got to this country, I'm going to make it quick. When I first got to America, I was culture shocked, right? Because I noticed that the people that look like me, black folk, right? They didn't act like me, like, whatsoever. See, in the Dominican Republic, we're very warm to each other. It's not that we're not violent. We're very violent people. But we're kind. We're courteous. When a guy looks at us, we look back at him and acknowledge him. We crack jokes. We pride on having lots and lots and lots of friends. We pride ourselves on getting along with everybody. Even the worst of the worst criminal will lie and say everybody's his friend. It's just the type of culture that we have. So I come here, and um, when I got to Jersey, man, everything was just so hostile. I look at a guy, he'll stare me down. You know, I would get beat up. The music was very aggressive. Instead of like merengue and bachata, which is very like accepting and loving and happy, everything was aggressive, hip hop. So I, I, I was just like, what the fuck is this? And I hated black culture. I was like, how can people have this culture? This is horrible. This is fucking horrible. These people are loud, crazy, violent. They're bullies, right? But then I grew into that culture. And I started liking that culture. I became that culture. You know, you feel me? Because when I got to this country, I was eight. By the time I was 15, I was a full product of the ghetto, right? But now that I'm 40 almost, I look back and I'm right back to where I started, man. The hip-hop culture is fucking trash, trash. And it's sad to say that the hip-hop culture is black culture. But don't take it from me. Take it from your very own uh, Uncle Ruckus, Charleston White. Let's fucking go. Um, well, I got this saying. I say that black culture is trash. And the things that we celebrate the most, not necessarily black culture itself, but the things no, that no, we no, celebrate no, no, no. the it, most. It is. Uh, when you, when, if you study today, black culture is trash. Why do you say that? Uh, when I look at it, there's nothing positive about it. Hmm. Uh, during Black History Month, you can go from from, from New Year's Eve uh, to Christmas. There ain't nothing positive about Black culture. Hmm. Uh, uh, we're, we're not highlighting spelling bee winners. Hmm. Uh, we don't talk about uh, the newest Black business that's doing good, and we don't. That shit ain't highlighted. Uh, when you go on social media and you look at some of the most uh, trending videos and trending topics. Uh, it ain't black empowerment. It ain't uplifting black people. Uh, when you look at our movies, uh, we ain't got no motherfucking black hero. I think Django was the last black hero and Quentin Tarantino gave was him. Yeah, that's true. So no, nah, nigga, black culture is trash. You don't have you don't have to correct that. Uh, nigga, black culture derived from the get from the gutter now. Gutter minded motherfuckers, right? That's what we say. We getting that idea. Nigga, everybody proud to be from the slum, proud to be gangster. Um, we ain't celebrating black doctors. No, 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 black. And that's because black culture comes from redneck white culture. These same attitudes were adopted by blacks from looking at their masters from the Anaba themselves that carry that culture from Wales. And the outlands of England, uh, Scotland, and Ireland. These were the last Americans to get to this country. And they went to the south. And the very few that became landowners, there, there, was, there was a vast minority. Had all these hundreds and hundreds of slaves not ever seen the master. The slave never saw the master. So he couldn't really emulate the master. Who did the slave saw? The, the the manager, that that that, that, crack, that whip cracking. That's what they call white boys cracker. That's the only white man that they came in contact with, that dude that was there in the field abusing them. When they saw outside, they saw the fucking redneck cracker beating each other up. There's feuds that went on for years in the South. The ghetto, the saggy pants, even the drill dancing. That what you're looking at, that that it that that um enlarged sense of respect, the swag which they would call back in the day in the South, 
dash and bravado. It's all the same thing. So, it really isn't black culture. Charleston White is wrong even about that. It's just American culture. It's just the ugly side of American culture. I want you guys to remember, when you see a black kid there with his pants sagging, a tattoo across the face, dancing drill, drinking, going crazy, daring you to look at him so that he can come beat you up, understand that that is as American as apple pie. Follow the empire. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Black bankers. Why do you think that is? Why do you think we? Oh, uh, because we we 